Picture this, it's a bustling Monday morning and you find yourself stuck in traffic, already running late for a crucial meeting. The anxiety starts to rise and the day hasn't even truly begun. Ever had those moments where it feels like the universe is conspiring against you and every little problem piles up until it's just too much? Now, imagine having a set of tools, habits you could rely on, that would help transform these everyday challenges into manageable, even enlightening experiences. Enter the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and the timeless philosophy of Stoicism. Far from being just an ancient relic, Stoicism offers practical guidance that addresses modern life stressors. It's about finding peace amidst chaos, clarity in confusion, and courage in the face of difficulty. Today, we will explore the 17 habits inspired by Marcus Aurelius that can tackle nearly every problem thrown your way, making life not just bearable but deeply fulfilling. So get comfortable as we're about to embark on a journey to master the art of living with resilience, wisdom, and inner calm. Habit 1 involves self-reflection. This habit is one of the cornerstones of Stoic philosophy and is prominently practiced by Marcus Aurelius himself. Through the pages of his famous work, Meditations, he delves deep into examining his thoughts, actions, and beliefs. This practice of self-reflection is a tool for personal growth and problem solving. By regularly taking the time to look inward, we can recognize patterns of thought and behavior that might be holding us back. It allows us to acknowledge our flaws and identify areas that need improvement. Moreover, self-reflection encourages us to be honest with ourselves, facing hard truths with courage. Through this practice, we become more aware of our emotional responses and the root causes of our anxieties and frustrations. As we pinpoint the challenges within, we can devise solutions that are both effective and harmonious with our values. By adopting this habit of self-reflection inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we lay the groundwork for a life that is not only aware but also aligned with our true purpose. The first expanded habit focuses on journaling. This practice serves as a powerful extension of self-reflection. Marcus Aurelius, in his renowned meditations, used journaling not merely as a way to record events or daily musings, but as a profound tool for introspection and personal growth. By putting pen to paper, he was able to articulate his thoughts clearly, untangle complexities in his mind, and reinforce his commitment to his stoic principles. Journaling allows us to pause, reflect, and engage in a meaningful dialogue with ourselves. To make the most of this practice, consider setting aside a dedicated time each day to write without judgment. Begin by documenting your thoughts and emotions, exploring not just what happened during your day but also your reactions to those events. Use questions as prompts like, what did I learn today? Or, what can I improve on tomorrow? This simple yet transformative habit can help in identifying patterns, uncovering underlying beliefs, and crafting solutions to personal challenges. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about overcoming fear or embracing change, using his reflections to guide his actions. By adopting this practice, you too can foster greater clarity, make informed decisions, and find pathways through life's obstacles. Embrace journaling as a means to deepen your understanding of yourself and harness the wisdom that lies within, inspired by the enduring insights of Stoic philosophy. The second practice involves mindfulness of the present moment, a concept emphasized heavily by Stoic philosophers. Being truly present is not just about observing your immediate environment, it is about engaging with life in a way that acknowledges its fleeting nature. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the transient nature of time, urging us to focus on the here and now rather than worrying about the unchangeable past or uncertain future. The Stoics taught that many of our anxieties stem from living either in the past or the future, caught in a mental circle of regret or worry over what might come. By grounding ourselves in the present, we reclaim the power to respond to life's challenges with calmness and clarity. Practicing mindfulness encourages us to notice and appreciate life's simple pleasures, 
whether it's the warmth of the sun on your skin or the taste of your morning coffee. This awareness fosters a deeper connection to our surroundings, allowing us to act with intention and make more thoughtful decisions. Stoicism invites us to look at our thoughts and feelings without judgment, understanding that we have the power to choose our reactions. Through mindfulness, we learn to navigate distractions with grace, approaching each task and interaction with a calm focus. By embracing this habit, inspired by Marcus Aurelius and the Stoics, we can reduce stress, enhance our well-being, and cultivate a harmonious balance in our lives, making every moment a meaningful part of our journey. Reducing distractions is an essential aspect of practicing mindfulness of the present moment. In our fast-paced world, distractions come at us from every direction, pulling us away from the present and into a state of mental chaos. To align with Stoic teachings, we must cultivate the habit of minimizing these distractions to maintain focus and clarity. One effective strategy is to designate specific times for digital detox. This means setting aside moments in your day when you step away from screens, notifications, and the constant buzz of digital devices. Use this time to connect with the present, perhaps through a walk in nature, meditation, or simply by engaging in a hobby that brings joy and relaxation. Another approach inspired by Stoicism is to prioritize tasks by focusing on one thing at a time. The Stoics believed in directing attention fully to the task at hand, giving it your complete focus before moving on to the next challenge. This method not only enhances productivity, but also brings a sense of accomplishment and peace. Consider creating a designated workspace free from clutter, where you can immerse yourself in deep work without interruption. Lastly, practice setting boundaries with your time and energy. Be mindful of commitments and politely decline anything that does not align with your priorities. Marcus Aurelius often emphasized the importance of saying no to what distracts us from our core values and goals. By embracing these strategies to reduce distractions, we cultivate a life that is not only more productive, but also more aligned with the principles of Stoicism, providing us with the mental space to grow, reflect, and connect deeply with our true selves. The third practice involves embracing change, a fundamental principle within Stoic philosophy. Change is an omnipresent force in life, and the Stoics, including Marcus Aurelius, urged us to accept it as an inevitable reality rather than something to be feared. By welcoming change with an open mind, we dismantle the barriers of fear and resistance that often hold us back. Marcus Aurelius taught that everything in life is transient, and clinging to the idea of permanence only invites suffering. Instead, by understanding that change is natural and necessary, we can approach life with greater flexibility and adaptability. This mindset allows us to perceive challenges not as threats but as opportunities for growth and transformation. Embracing change helps us to let go of expectations and control, which are often the root causes of anxiety and frustration. By developing this habit, we gain the resilience to navigate life's ups and downs with a steady and calm demeanor. Whether it's a career shift, a personal loss, or the ebb and flow of relationships, accepting change enables us to move forward with grace and wisdom. It encourages us to see the beauty in the unknown and the potential for new beginnings. By integrating this stoic habit into our lives, we cultivate a mindset that is not only resilient but also ready to thrive in the face of life's ever-evolving landscape, inspired by the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. Adaptability is an essential extension of embracing change, and Marcus Aurelius exemplifies this through his life experiences and writings. As a Roman emperor, he faced numerous challenges ranging from political instability to personal hardships. Yet, his adaptability enabled him to navigate these obstacles with wisdom and composure. Marcus understood the value of being flexible and open to new possibilities, recognizing that rigidity only leads to stagnation and missed opportunities. One notable instance of his adaptability was during the Marcomannic Wars. Faced with unforeseen threats, Marcus had to make quick decisions, 
often adapting his strategies to suit the ever-changing circumstances. Instead of resisting these changes, he viewed them as opportunities to refine his leadership skills and deepen his understanding of human nature. To cultivate adaptability in our own lives, we can embrace a mindset that welcomes unpredictability. Start by being open to different perspectives and willing to adjust your plans as the situation demands. This involves letting go of the need for control and accepting that uncertainty is a part of life. Practice reframing challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. By doing so, we expand our horizons and foster resilience. Another key aspect is to remain curious and continually seek knowledge. Marcus Aurelius was a proponent of lifelong learning, encouraging us to remain students of life and adapt to the lessons it offers. By integrating adaptability into our daily lives, we turn obstacles into stepping stones, navigating them with confidence and poise. This approach not only aligns with Stoic principles, but also empowers us to thrive in an ever-changing world, drawing inspiration from the enduring legacy of Marcus Aurelius. Rational thinking, the fourth practice, is central to Stoic philosophy, serving as a guiding light in both personal and leadership endeavors. Marcus Aurelius believed that logic and reason were paramount in making sound decisions, whether addressing issues in his empire or in his personal life. He emphasized the importance of approaching problems with a clear mind, free from the emotional turbulence that often clouds our judgment. By engaging in rational thinking, we align our thoughts with reality, allowing us to see situations as they truly are, devoid of bias or prejudice. This habit involves deliberate contemplation where we weigh the evidence, consider different perspectives, and anticipate potential outcomes. Marcus Aurelius often confronted complex political scenarios, and his ability to apply logical reasoning helped him navigate through them with integrity and wisdom. He taught that by understanding the nature of cause and effect, we could predict the consequences of our actions and make informed choices that align with our principles. Rational thinking also extends to our daily lives, providing a framework to resolve conflicts, prioritize goals, and pursue personal growth. By questioning our assumptions, challenging our fears, and seeking truth over comfort, we strengthen our capacity to act with purpose and clarity. This habit encourages us to pause and reflect before reacting, fostering a mindset that is analytical yet compassionate. By adopting rational thinking inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we equip ourselves with the tools to confront life's challenges with a sense of confidence and assurance, grounded in the wisdom of reason and understanding. Emotional resilience, the focus of the fifth practice, is a pivotal trait within Stoic philosophy that empowers us to manage our emotions effectively. Marcus Aurelius believed in confronting emotions with composure and understanding, seeing them not as obstacles but as opportunities for growth. The Stoics taught that while we cannot always control what happens to us, we can choose how we react. By developing emotional resilience, we build the capacity to face adversity with a calm and steady mind. This involves recognizing our emotional triggers and understanding the transient nature of emotions, acknowledging that they are often fleeting and influenced by external circumstances. One practice to enhance emotional resilience is to pause and reflect when facing frustration or anger. Instead of reacting impulsively, Take a moment to breathe and assess the situation from a broader perspective. This pause allows you to respond with intention rather than emotion, aligning your actions with your values. Another important aspect is cultivating self-awareness and understanding that emotions often provide valuable insights into our deeper needs and beliefs. By exploring these underlying motivations, we grow in self-knowledge and strengthen our ability to navigate emotional storms with grace. Building emotional resilience also involves practicing acceptance, as Marcus Aurelius often advised, recognizing that some things are beyond our control and that fighting against this reality only breeds further frustration. By focusing on what we can control our thoughts, attitudes, and actions, we cultivate a sense of inner stability and peace. 
Through the practice of emotional resilience inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we gain the tools to overcome life's challenges with dignity and strength, transforming potential setbacks into opportunities for personal growth and understanding. Practicing gratitude, the sixth habit, is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, offering profound insights into reducing dissatisfaction and fostering a sense of contentment. Marcus Aurelius often expressed gratitude in his writings, acknowledging the people, experiences, and even challenges that shaped his life. Stoicism teaches us that by appreciating what we have, we shift our focus from what is lacking to what is present, transforming our mindset from one of scarcity to abundance. Gratitude helps us recognize the value in each moment and each encounter, reminding us that even amidst difficulties, there is always something to be thankful for. It involves an active acknowledgement of the goodness in our lives and the sources from which it flows, whether they are external events or internal strengths. By practicing gratitude, we enhance our ability to find joy in everyday experiences, no matter how small they may seem. This habit encourages a reflective attitude, prompting us to consider our blessings and the lessons learned from every situation. Gratitude is not about ignoring life's challenges, but about appreciating the growth and wisdom they bring. Incorporating gratitude into our daily routine can be as simple as pausing to reflect on what we are thankful for or expressing appreciation to those around us. By adopting this practice, we cultivate a mindset that embraces contentment and joy, aligning ourselves with the values of Stoicism and the enduring teachings of Marcus Aurelius. Through gratitude, we not only enrich our own lives, but also create a ripple effect of positivity and kindness, enhancing our connections with others and the world around us. Daily gratefulness as an extension of practicing gratitude can transform our routine experiences into meaningful and enriching moments. Inspired by Marcus Aurelius, who found value in life's simple pleasures, incorporating daily gratefulness into our lives can elevate our sense of joy and fulfillment. Start by introducing a gratitude ritual at the beginning or end of your day. This could be as simple as journaling three things you are thankful for. Focus on small but significant events, like a kind word from a stranger or the comfort of your favorite chair. Reflect on how these moments contribute to your overall well-being, reinforcing a positive mindset throughout the day. Another practical tip is to express your gratitude directly to others. Whether it's a quick message or a heartfelt note, acknowledging the positive impact someone has had on your life not only strengthens your relationships but also amplifies your own sense of gratitude. Marcus Aurelius often highlighted the interconnectedness of people, and by recognizing their contributions, we deepen our connection with those around us. Make it a habit to pause and appreciate the present moment. During your daily activities, take a moment to savor and acknowledge simple joys like the aroma of your morning coffee or the feeling of the sun on your skin. Such mindfulness practices root you in the present and heighten your awareness and appreciation of life's blessings. Lastly, consider a gratitude jar where you can jot down things you appreciate on small slips of paper. Over time, this jar becomes a tangible reminder of the abundance in your life, offering a boost of positivity whenever needed. By integrating these practices into your daily routine, you cultivate a lasting sense of appreciation inspired by Marcus Aurelius and the profound principles of Stoicism. Gratefulness becomes more than just a response to good fortune. It transforms into a foundational aspect of how you perceive and engage with the world, enriching every experience and interaction. Accepting mortality, the seventh habit, is a profound concept within Stoic philosophy that encourages us to prioritize life's values and focus on what truly matters. Marcus Aurelius, in his reflections, often contemplated the transient nature of life, urging us to live with awareness of our own impermanence. The acceptance of mortality is not meant to evoke fear, but rather to inspire a more meaningful and intentional way of living. By embracing the reality that life is finite, we are prompted to evaluate what is truly significant and deserving of our attention. 
This awareness fosters a sense of urgency to live in alignment with our core values, ensuring that our actions and choices reflect our deepest aspirations. In acknowledging our mortality, we become more present in our daily lives, cherishing moments and relationships that might otherwise be taken for granted. Stoicism teaches us that death is a natural part of life, a reminder to seek fulfillment and purpose beyond material pursuits. By internalizing this perspective, we can let go of trivial concerns and focus on what brings genuine joy and enrichment. This habit also encourages us to cultivate a legacy that extends beyond our physical existence, considering the impact we have on others and the world. By accepting mortality inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we gain the clarity to make choices that resonate with our true selves, leading to a life that is not only well-lived but deeply satisfying. Simplifying desires, the eighth habit, is a core principle in Stoic philosophy that guides us toward a life of greater fulfillment and fewer disappointments. Marcus Aurelius, along with other Stoic thinkers, recognized that many of our struggles and grievances stem from desires that are complex and often unattainable. By simplifying our desires, we align ourselves with a more authentic and content way of living. This practice involves critically examining what we truly need versus what we want, shedding the excess and focusing on essentials that resonate with our values. Simplifying desires allows us to free ourselves from the constant chase for material possessions or status, which often leads to frustration and unease. Instead, we cultivate contentment by appreciating what we have and seeking fulfillment in experiences, relationships, and personal growth. This shift in perspective helps us to avoid the trap of comparison with others, which is a common source of dissatisfaction. By re-evaluating our wants, we create space for gratitude and joy, finding deeper satisfaction in life's simple pleasures. The Stoics teach us that true happiness comes not from acquiring more but from desiring less, an approach that empowers us to focus on what genuinely matters. By embracing this habit inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we prioritize a life filled with purpose and meaning, navigating challenges with clarity and serenity. Minimalist living, an expanded aspect of simplifying desires, is deeply aligned with Stoic principles. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the virtues of living a life free from unnecessary clutter and distractions. By adopting minimalist practices, we address issues arising from excess, allowing us to focus on what truly matters. Minimalism encourages us to examine our possessions and commitments, discerning between what we need and what merely serves as a distraction. Begin by decluttering your physical space, which in turn helps clear mental chaos. Consider each item and ask yourself whether it adds genuine value to your life or merely occupies space. This practice not only simplifies your surroundings but also fosters a sense of tranquility and focus. Another key aspect of minimalist living is simplifying our schedules and commitments. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of aligning our time with our priorities, urging us to let go of activities that do not serve our purpose. By doing so, we reclaim our time for pursuits that bring true fulfillment and growth. Minimalism also involves cultivating a mindset of contentment, finding wealth in experiences and relationships rather than material acquisitions. This shift in perspective allows us to find joy in simplicity and appreciate the abundance in what we already have. Minimalist living, inspired by Marcus Aurelius, challenges us to reconsider our consumption patterns and recognize the freedom that comes from living with less. By embracing these principles, we cultivate an environment that nourishes our well-being, inviting clarity and purpose into our lives. The ninth practice involves service to others, a profound stoic belief that emphasizes contributing to the community as a way to transcend self-centeredness. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the interconnectedness of human beings, recognizing that we are all part of a larger whole. By serving others, we reinforce our role within this greater community and find purpose beyond our individual desires. 
Stoicism teaches us that true fulfillment and happiness come not from self-indulgence but from the impact we have on those around us. Engaging in acts of service encourages empathy and kindness, allowing us to shift our focus from our own worries to the needs of others. Whether it's volunteering, offering support to a friend in need, or simply being present for those who matter, these acts of service help us cultivate a sense of compassion and connection. Marcus Aurelius believed that contributing to the well-being of others enriches our own lives, creating a cycle of positivity and growth. Through service, we also gain perspective on our own challenges, realizing that we are not alone in our struggles. This practice fosters a sense of gratitude and contentment as we become aware of the abundance in our lives and the positive influence we can exert. By adopting this habit of service to others, inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we not only enhance our personal growth but also contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate world. Embracing this stoic tenet helps us build meaningful relationships and leads us to a life of purpose and fulfillment, strengthening the bonds of community and humanity at large. Detachment from outcomes, the tenth habit, centers around the stoic practice of placing emphasis on our efforts rather than the results they produce. Marcus Aurelius, along with other stoic thinkers, stressed the importance of focusing on what is within our control, our actions, decisions, and attitudes, while releasing attachment to the external outcomes. This mindset brings significant relief from stress and enhances our ability to focus with clarity and purpose. By prioritizing effort over outcome, we shift our attention to the process, which is where true growth and learning happen. This approach allows us to engage fully and passionately in our endeavors, knowing that our value is not determined by the end result, but by the integrity and dedication we bring to each task. The Stoics taught that external circumstances are often unpredictable and beyond our influence, but our response to these circumstances is entirely within our power. By adopting this habit of detachment, we liberate ourselves from the anxiety of needing to control everything, finding freedom and peace in the present. When we let go of the fixation on results, we are less affected by disappointments and setbacks, viewing them instead as opportunities to learn and adapt. This practice also aligns with the principles of resilience as it empowers us to persevere and maintain our composure in the face of challenges. By valuing effort, we build resilience and cultivate a sense of satisfaction in knowing that we have given our best regardless of the outcome. This detachment is not about indifference but about understanding our strengths and focusing on continuous improvement. Inspired by Marcus Aurelius and the Stoics, this habit encourages us to pursue our goals with vigor and commitment, while remaining open to whatever outcomes may arise, embodying a balanced and harmonious way of living. Seeking wisdom, the eleventh habit, is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, advocating for continual learning and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Marcus Aurelius, a philosopher-emperor, exemplified this through his relentless pursuit of understanding and his openness to new ideas. He believed that wisdom was not a destination but a journey, one that required humility, curiosity and dedication. By seeking wisdom, we equip ourselves to tackle ignorance and the limitations it imposes on our lives. This habit encourages us to explore diverse perspectives, engage with challenging concepts, and remain students of life's vast and varied curriculum. To emulate Marcus Aurelius, we can start by dedicating time each day to reading, listening, or engaging in meaningful discussions. Consider exploring subjects outside of your comfort zone, as this broadens your understanding and provides new insights into the world and yourself. Ask questions not just to others but to yourself, challenging your assumptions and beliefs. Reflection and critical thinking are vital components of seeking wisdom, allowing us to integrate new knowledge with our existing understanding. Embrace lifelong learning with an open mind, recognizing that every person and experience holds a lesson waiting to be discovered. Engage with literature, philosophy, science, or any field that sparks curiosity, as they all contribute to our growth and wisdom. 
Marcus Aurelius often found wisdom in the words of other philosophers, drawing from their teachings to inform his own reflections and actions. By adopting this habit of seeking wisdom, we cultivate a deeper awareness of the world, enrich our personal development, and equip ourselves to overcome the challenges of ignorance with clarity and insight. This pursuit of wisdom, inspired by Marcus Aurelius, encourages us to live a life of continual learning, growth, and understanding, elevating both our personal and collective journey. Patience and endurance, the twelfth habit, are essential virtues in Stoic philosophy that guide us through challenges and steer us towards long-term achievements. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the importance of enduring hardships with grace, recognizing that patience is not merely passive waiting, but an active engagement with life's trials. By cultivating patience, we learn to face difficulties with a calm demeanor, acknowledging that solutions and success require time and perseverance. Endurance, on the other hand, empowers us to remain steadfast in our efforts, sustaining the momentum needed to reach our goals even when faced with obstacles. The Stoics taught that both patience and endurance are cultivated through practice, requiring us to embrace discomfort and delay gratification. This mindset helps us to build resilience, allowing us to navigate setbacks without losing sight of our aspirations. By understanding that progress is often gradual, patience becomes a tool for managing expectations and maintaining focus on our path. Marcus Aurelius exemplified these virtues through his leadership, often facing prolonged periods of uncertainty and adversity with unwavering commitment. To adopt this habit, begin by setting realistic goals and breaking them down into manageable steps, celebrating small victories along the way. Embrace the journey, not just the destination, recognizing that each moment of perseverance strengthens your character and brings you closer to your objectives. Practice mindfulness to remain present and calm during challenging times, reinforcing your capacity to endure. By valuing patience and endurance inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we develop the fortitude to confront life's challenges with hope and determination, ultimately achieving the long-term goals that align with our deepest values and aspirations. Practicing honesty, the 13th habit, is fundamental to Stoic philosophy and serves as a guiding principle for resolving interpersonal conflicts. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the value of honesty in his reflections, understanding that it is the cornerstone of trust and integrity. Honesty begins with oneself, involving a commitment to self-awareness and truthful introspection. By being honest with ourselves, we recognize our limitations, biases, and motivations, allowing us to address personal challenges with clarity and responsibility. This self-honesty fosters an authentic relationship with our true selves, leading to personal growth and alignment with our values. When it comes to others, honesty is equally vital. It builds the foundation for trust and respect in our relationships, enabling open and sincere communication. By expressing our thoughts and feelings honestly, while remaining empathetic and considerate, we create an environment where conflicts can be addressed constructively. Stoic integrity teaches us that honesty is not about being blunt or hurtful, but about conveying truth with kindness and understanding. This approach encourages dialogue and resolution rather than misunderstanding and resentment. Marcus Aurelius believed that a life led with honesty reflects a life of virtue where words and actions are in harmony. In challenging situations, honesty requires courage to speak truthfully and listen openly, fostering mutual respect and collaboration. By embracing this habit of practicing honesty, inspired by Marcus Aurelius and the Stoics, we strengthen our relationships and resolve conflicts with wisdom and empathy, paving the way for harmonious and meaningful interactions. Accepting reality, the 14th habit, is a profound principle within Stoic philosophy that equips us to face life's challenges with clarity and purpose. Marcus Aurelius often emphasized the importance of aligning our perceptions with the truth of the present moment, understanding that resistance to reality only breeds unnecessary suffering. 
By accepting reality, we liberate ourselves from the illusion of what we wish things to be and focus on what actually is. This acceptance fosters a mindset that embraces the present with openness and resilience, allowing us to discern practical solutions that align with our true circumstances. It encourages a shift in perspective, inviting us to let go of false expectations and acknowledge the facts of our situation. Stoicism teaches us that many of our struggles arise from a refusal to accept the inevitable, whether it's a change in our personal lives or larger events beyond our control. By embracing what is, we gain the freedom to respond thoughtfully and effectively, rather than being mired in frustration or denial. This habit also promotes a sense of peace as we release the burden of striving against the unchangeable. Through acceptance, we become more attuned to the opportunities and resources available to us, enabling us to act with wisdom and intention. Marcus Aurelius understood that accepting reality does not mean resignation but empowerment, as it allows us to focus our energy on what we can influence, leading to constructive actions. By adopting this habit of accepting reality, inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we align ourselves with the truth of the present, reducing unnecessary suffering and crafting solutions grounded in the authentic conditions of our lives. This approach not only enhances our problem-solving abilities, but also cultivates a life of tranquility and fulfillment, rooted in the wisdom of facing reality with courage and insight. Cognitive reframing, an expanded aspect of accepting reality, is a powerful stoic tool that allows us to view challenging situations through a more positive and constructive lens. Marcus Aurelius, in his writings, often emphasized the importance of shifting our perspective to align with the inherent realities of life. This practice involves questioning and altering our mental responses to adversities, transforming them into opportunities for growth and understanding. One method of cognitive reframing is to identify the underlying beliefs that shape our perceptions, challenging any negative assumptions that may distort our understanding of the situation. By doing so, we open ourselves to alternative viewpoints and interpretations that foster resilience and adaptability. For instance, instead of seeing a setback as a failure, we can choose to view it as a learning experience that offers valuable insights for future endeavors. This shift in perspective not only reduces the emotional burden of the challenge, but also empowers us to act with intention and clarity. Another effective strategy is to employ gratitude as a reframing tool, recognizing the potential benefits or hidden opportunities within a difficult circumstance. Marcus Aurelius often found wisdom in adversities, viewing them as a means to practice virtue and strengthen character. By reframing challenges with gratitude, we cultivate a mindset that appreciates the growth potential inherent in every obstacle. Additionally, adopting a broader perspective allows us to place our current difficulties within the larger context of our lives, reducing their perceived severity and enhancing our ability to respond calmly and effectively. Cognitive reframing encourages us to focus on what we can control, how we interpret and respond to situations rather than being overwhelmed by what is beyond our influence. By practicing this habit, inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we transform the way we experience and navigate life's challenges, fostering a sense of empowerment and peace rooted in the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Cultivating inner peace, the 15th habit, is a fundamental aspect of Stoicism that provides a sanctuary of calm amidst the chaos of life. Marcus Aurelius, in his reflections, often emphasized the importance of maintaining tranquility as a means to achieve mental clarity and well-being. Stoic techniques for inner peace begin with understanding that our true serenity is derived not from external conditions but from our internal state. By accepting that we are only in control of our thoughts, we can detach from the turmoil that surrounds us. The practice of mindfulness is central to this, encouraging us to bring our attention to the present moment and embrace it without judgment. This awareness allows us to discern between what truly matters and what is mere noise, helping us prioritize our responses with intention and wisdom. 
Another valuable Stoic technique is the practice of meditative contemplation, where we take time each day to reflect on our thoughts, emotions, and actions, bringing them into harmony with our core values. This habit helps us foster a sense of stability and focus, reducing anxiety and promoting inner tranquility. By engaging in such contemplation, inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we enhance our capacity to remain centered even in the most turbulent of situations. Embracing gratitude also plays a significant role in cultivating inner peace. By acknowledging and appreciating the positive aspects of our lives, no matter how small, we shift our focus from lack to abundance, reinforcing a sense of contentment and balance. Additionally, the stoic practice of voluntary discomfort, such as embracing simple living or small challenges, strengthens our resilience and detachment from material dependence, reinforcing our inner peace. Marcus Aurelius often sought comfort in nature, engaging with its simplicity and finding solace in its timeless beauty, a technique that we too can adopt to reconnect with our inner calm. By integrating these stoic techniques into our daily routines, we cultivate a strong foundation of inner peace, one that supports mental clarity and well-being, guiding us through life's complexities with grace and composure, drawing inspiration from the enduring wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Developing self-control, the 16th habit, is a cornerstone in stoic philosophy crucial for managing impulses and maintaining alignment with our personal values. Marcus Aurelius often reflected on the importance of controlling one's desires and reactions, emphasizing that true freedom comes from mastery over oneself. Self-control empowers us to govern our thoughts and actions, allowing us to act with intention rather than mere impulse. This habit involves cultivating awareness of our triggers and understanding the underlying motivations behind our urges. By doing so, we create space between stimulus and response, enabling us to choose our actions wisely. One effective strategy for developing self-control is the practice of delayed gratification, where we consciously decide to postpone immediate pleasures in favor of long-term benefits. This strengthens our ability to resist temptations and reinforces our commitment to our goals. Another approach is setting clear boundaries, not only with others but with ourselves, ensuring that our actions remain aligned with our values and aspirations. Marcus Aurelius often spoke of the strength found in discipline, advocating for a life led by principles rather than fleeting desires. By practicing self-control, we enhance our capacity to remain focused and purpose-driven, even amidst distractions. Mindfulness plays a significant role here, as it encourages us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, acknowledging them without letting them dictate our actions. Regular reflection, inspired by Marcus Aurelius, allows us to assess our progress, refine our strategies, and celebrate our victories in self-mastery. By integrating these practices of self-control into our lives, we not only gain the ability to manage our impulses, but also cultivate a life that is in harmony with our true selves, enriching our journey with wisdom and intentionality deeply rooted in the teachings of Stoicism. The 17th habit involves collaboration, a vital aspect often highlighted in Stoic teachings, emphasizing the power of teamwork in surmounting personal limitations and attaining success. Marcus Aurelius, a leader who valued the contributions of others, understood that by working together, we harness a collective strength that surpasses individual capabilities. Collaboration encourages us to embrace the diverse perspectives and skills of those around us, creating an environment where innovative solutions and growth thrive. This habit requires a shift from self-reliance to recognizing the value of shared efforts, acknowledging that we are part of a larger community where every contribution matters. By fostering collaboration, we build strong connections and trust, allowing for open communication and mutual support. The Stoics believed that true wisdom and progress come through engagement with others, where we can learn, share, and evolve collectively. Teamwork not only alleviates the burden of challenges, but also enhances our creativity and problem-solving abilities, 
as we draw from the strengths and experiences of our peers. To incorporate this habit, begin by actively seeking opportunities to collaborate in both personal and professional settings. Be curious and open to the ideas of others, valuing their input as essential to achieving common goals. Marcus Aurelius often advised listening with an open mind and engaging in constructive dialogue as collaboration thrives on mutual respect and understanding. Practice gratitude for the contributions of your teammates, recognizing the role they play in your successes and the shared journey. By embracing this habit of collaboration inspired by Marcus Aurelius, we transcend our individual limitations and create a harmonious synergy that propels us towards achieving greater success and fulfillment, guided by the collective wisdom and strength found in unity. In summary, the 17 habits inspired by Marcus Aurelius and Stoicism offer a comprehensive toolkit for navigating life's challenges with resilience and wisdom. From self-reflection and journaling to mindfulness and embracing change, these practices guide us in understanding ourselves and the world around us. Rational thinking and emotional resilience empower us to make thoughtful decisions and manage our emotions effectively, while gratitude and acceptance of mortality remind us of the value in every moment. Simplifying desires and adopting minimalist principles help us focus on what truly matters, reducing distractions and fostering contentment. Service to others and detachment from outcomes enrich our lives with purpose and peace, while seeking wisdom and cultivating patience and endurance equip us to grow continually. The pursuit of honesty and reality acceptance strengthens our relationships and clarity, while cognitive reframing and inner peace guide us in reshaping our perspectives and maintaining tranquility. Lastly, developing self-control and embracing collaboration enhance our ability to act with integrity and achieve shared success. Together, these habits form a powerful foundation for personal growth and problem solving. We invite you to explore and integrate these strategies into your life, drawing upon the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius to foster a more fulfilling and harmonious existence. Share your experiences and thoughts on these habits in the comments below, and let us embark on this journey towards a life guided by Stoic principles. If you found this exploration valuable, consider subscribing to our channel, liking the video, and hitting the notification bell to stay updated on our latest insights. Thank you for being part of our community as we delve into the profound teachings of Stoicism.